What up, Psycho Nation, and welcome back to the Asylum. Today is Warning Wednesday. So, upon searching through the Warnings YouTube page, I have come across this. This is the Warning Covers Metallica's Atlas Rise. Now, I'm very interested to see this because apparently it shows off Danny's solo skills, which I love seeing. So, I really want to check it out and see what it's all about. And that's what we're going to do today. It's not a warning song, but it is a song done by the warning. So let's check it out and see just how well they do Atlas, Atlas Rise from Metallica. This isn't the best recording, apparently. and play songs like this completely out of what they do by amazing Okay, now is it just is it just me or does Pow seriously get this like evil look in her eye when she's playing metal? Like seriously, she gets into a beat and she's just all glares and it's awesome. Uh so far so good. I'm actually really enjoying it. I wish the audio on the video itself was a bit better, but this is the recording that's up on their channel. Like there's not a lot I can do. It wasn't uh, obviously professionally recorded, but Really, really good nonetheless. So let's continue into this. I just really want to see Danny solo. They're all just so into playing this, it's amazing. I love how Pow and Danny are switching in between vocals. It seems so that uh, Danny can focus on the more guitar intensive areas of the song, where when Pow is no longer singing, it definitely seems to be more of a drum heavy area of the song. Now, the song is heavy in both in every area, but the ones, the, the areas that have a, a special uh either they need a special lick put into them that could be overly complicated or a drum uh a fill that could be complicated it just seems like they're switching back and forth at the ideal times for their instruments which is awesome
Though I wish Pow's mic was louder. Right onto the ride symbol, nice. transition. got the horns up. Perfectly in sync. Love it. I still got to point out, regardless of how many times I've said it before, sorry, um, singing and playing drums is hard enough as it is, but when you are singing and playing at Powell's level, it's absolutely insane. Like, to be able to keep on time with your fills, your beats, everything, all that's included with drumming, and still be able to sing... And especially on songs like Atlas Rise, it's not exactly a song that a beginner drummer can jump on and start playing unless you're like some type of prodigy. She's doing it like it's a basic 4-4 four, four time and that's just what she's doing. She's doing it like I would do a basic beat for an average rock song. Like she is killing it. Freaking good. Wow. Okay, hang on. This was uh So, let let let's get into this first. First off, uh, it's not a warning song. So anybody that came in thinking it was a warning song, no. It is a Metallica song. But they killed that. They I just the only thing I wish is that their mics were a bit better or the recording was a bit better because 
it wasn't top tier recording. Like, let's face that. The the audio was very uh very weak in the vocals. Luckily, we can hear what they're saying, and we can we if you've ever listened to Metallica, you probably heard Atlas Rise, and um, it, it, it's it's a great song. It just sucks because I feel like uh, we really missed out on what Danny and Pow were doing there for power because they had a lot of power and that's what drove their voices to where they were. The downside is, is that the mic seemed almost too muted. So whoever did the audio for the mics might not have set it up to the most ideal settings for how loud their instruments are, but whatever. They killed that song. 100% 100% killed that song. That was amazing. Uh, I want to go back to Pow here and the the bare fact that she was able to continuously do fills and keep up with the beat of the song while singing and just doing everything else that she does is insane. It's so cool. I'm so impressed. It's not an easy song to play in the first place. A lot of drummers might say different, but for me, it's not an easy song to play. I know a lot of guitarists struggle with this song, and they they made it look like they were treading through a shallow swimming pool of effortlessness. Awesome. I would love to see more covers. I would love to see some more covers of when they're... Uh, when their audio is really good, because I feel that we really, really lost out on some of the power of the notes that they were singing. You could hear the power was there, but you couldn't hear it loud, and that's what sucked about the audio. Anyway, what are your thoughts on their cover of this? I know we all love their Metallica covers from when they were really young, and their, of course, uh, their Metallica cover with Alyssa Cara. I know we all enjoyed that, but what did you think of a straight-up cover of Atlas Rise? What what were your thoughts on this? Because to me, they they absolutely killed the song. It was amazing. They did everything correct. And especially with the song being a strong male lead vocal, Danny did Daddy and Pa did how did a really, really good job in covering that. And honestly, would listen to it again. I'd give this song like a 9 out of 10, the only thing being the the, the audio for the vocals. Anyway, I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, is this something you like listening to? Do you think they should do more covers of more heavy songs? Because I do. I wish they would do more heavy songs. Like I said in my previous Warning Wednesday video, I want to see some of them do songs, or see them do songs with power ballads and all sorts of songs like that because their vocal range has improved so much over the years that they've been now doing this live and being a professional rock band. And I truly believe that their vocals now could carry so much farther than what they initially did in the the start of their careers. Anyway, let me know. And also, let's do another secret question of the day. If you could meet any of the three girls, but only one of them, not all three, who would you choose and why? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Have yourselves a great night. Stay psycho.